Today, I'm showing you a few different methods for getting multiple characters into your mid-journey images. This video topic was voted for by my Patreon community, so thank you to all of my patrons, and let's get started with the easiest method, which is using an Omni reference that already has multiple characters in it. For this example, I created a collage image where I stuck the two characters side by side. The characters don't already have to be in the same scene to work as an Omni reference. A simple collage works well. Then in your prompt, you want to describe both characters. This helps Midjourney not only understand which parts of your OREF to use, but also helps Midjourney map which character goes where. I started by telling Midjourney that there are two characters, along with a basic description of the style and scene that I want to create. Then I described each character individually, including their position so that Midjourney knows which character is on the left and which is on the right. All of this helps reinforce that there are two distinct characters. Lastly, I included the SREF code that I used to create the original character images just to help maintain style consistency. Here's one of the first sets of results that I got using this prompt. And if you've spent any time using Omni Reference in V7, you know that not every result is going to be perfect. But in these two here, Midjourney did a pretty good job with character likeness, especially with the facial features and their overall hairstyles. This technique of using a collage as an Omni reference also works when combining characters with clothing and objects. I made a video about this that I'll link below. For the next approach, we'll need three images, a background scene and two characters. This method doesn't use Omni reference. Instead, we're using the editor to combine everything. You'll want all three images to be in a similar style for this to work well. The first thing that you wanna do is get your background scene into Midjourney's editor. I created my background scene with Midjourney, so I'll click edit and then click open in edit tab because we need to use the full editor for this. If you're using an external image for your background scene, you can just go directly to the editor and upload it. Then bring in your character images. I highly recommend using PNG files with transparent backgrounds where the character is already isolated. I used Canva's background remover for these, but you can also use Photoshop or Adobe's free background removal tool. I'll link it below. Midjourney's smart selection tool can also work for removing backgrounds, but I haven't had consistent success with it. Once you've brought in the background and the two characters, you'll have three layers total. The background scene should be the bottom layer. If it's not, just click and drag it down. Then you just need to resize and move your characters to the positions that you want. When you're happy with the placement, run a job to flatten the image. The prompt doesn't really matter here because we aren't filling in any empty space. We're just flattening the layers together. Then pick one of the flattened images and you can erase the area down on the ground near the character's feet if you wanna to try to get Midjourney to add shadows there. I didn't do anything fancy with the prompt for this step. I just let Midjourney try to work out that there should be shadows on the ground. And here's one of the results. The trick with this composite or layers approach is getting the lighting and perspective right. So this is probably going to work best with non-photorealistic scenes like illustrations or 3D animation styles. But this method gives you more control over character placement and is ideal if you've created a bunch of character assets where you have them in different poses or positions and can just drop them into different scenes. If you're interested in learning more about creating character assets, check out my August prompt guide over on Patreon. So those are my two favorite approaches at the moment, but if you wanna do some more experimenting, there are a couple of other things that you can try. They tend to be less reliable than the previous two methods, but one way is to use a combination of an OREF result and the editor. I created this image using the woman as my OREF in the V7 model. Then I took the result into the editor and changed the aspect ratio to make room for a second character. Now here's where it gets a little tricky. The editor cannot use Omni reference yet, so I need to switch to the V6 model in the editor settings. This allows me to use character reference instead. I added this guy as a C-Ref, then updated the prompt to describe him and his position relative to the woman. And this was the best result that I was able to get after running a few jobs. Not great, but not terrible either. It can be pretty challenging to get proportions right with this approach and character reference in V6 just doesn't work as well as Omni reference in V7. Another approach that works better is to create an image in V7 where you use one character as the OREF and the second character as an image reference. Be sure to clearly describe both characters in your prompt text and you can get results that are pretty decent. The character consistency isn't as strong as using the two character collage method, but it's better than trying to add a second character with C-Ref in the editor. 
And just for comparison, if we circle back to the first method that I showed you and use a collage image of these two, the character likeness in the results is a little better, but not too far off from using an O ref with an image reference. Her shirt definitely matches the reference way better with the two character collage approach. But if the two character collage method doesn't work well for you and the images that you're working with aren't suitable for making a composite or layered image, maybe consider trying the OREF plus image reference approach as your next best option. As you work through your own multiple character images, it's important to remember that the current Omni reference feature is fine tuned to work really well with replicating one main subject. Once you start asking it to replicate more than one, you're working outside of what the feature was designed to do. And you might have to work harder in the prompt text or with parameter adjustments, such as changing the Omni weight or adding raw mode to get what you want. Omni reference is expected to improve significantly after the V8 model is released. My recommendation is to start with the two character collage approach, unless you have a scene that would work really well as a composite, then do that instead. And if neither of those work for you, try the OREF plus image reference approach as your third option. If you're working with three or more characters, the composite layer approach is going to be your best bet just because it's much harder to get consistent results when you have more than two characters in a single Omni reference. If you found this video helpful, please consider liking, subscribing, and maybe even joining my Patreon community where you'll find all of my monthly prompt collections, exclusive videos, and other mid-journey guides. I recently posted a behind the scenes vlog showing some of my editing process and day-to-day -day work, and the next prompt collection will be out soon. As always, thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.